Good day, kids. Welcome to our online class. Are you ready? Vocabulary words. 1. Animals. 2. Food. 3. Things. Our subject for today, it's all about science. And our topic, it's all about living things and non-living things. First, we will talk about living things. Living things, some things around us that are alive. And we can call these things living thing. Next, living thing can breathe, right? Yes, they can breathe using their nose, not, even, uh, not only their nose, but they have their other parts in order them to breathe. Just like an example here, a cat, the cat breathes using his nose or their nose. And this boy, he used his nose to breathe. Now next, living things can use energy or living thing use energy. Yes, exactly, a living thing use energy in order them to move. Yes, without energy, they cannot move. Next one. Living things can reproduce. Yes, most of the living things can reproduce or all the living things can reproduce. Not only uh, the, the animals, but also the plants. Yes, they can reproduce. Reproduce means they can make another living things. The next one is living thing grow and develop. Yes, when we say grow and develop, from small going to their adults. Like for example, in the picture here, these are the development of a human. From baby until to adult. That is the characteristic of a living thing. Now, let's proceed to non-living thing. Non-living thing, some things around us that are not alive. So it means this is the, this is the opposite of living things. So we can call all these things non-living things. Just like, for example, non-living things can grow, move, and don't need food just like a car a table a pencil a house a doll a fan mountains and clouds are non-living things because they don't need to move they don't need food and they did not grow other non-living things are man-made which means that People make them. So, what are the things that people make or what we call man-made? An example here is a table, yes, a fan, a house, a pencil, a bridge, and a car. No, those are things are man-made or they are made by people, but they are non-living things. Very good. Next one, some non-living things are natural. When we say natural, people cannot make it. So, which means that the people don't make them, but they are non-living things. An example for that is the air, the sun, rocks and minerals, the water, the moon, and the clouds. They are non-living things. Even they are they are natural, but they are non-living things. So, did you understand our topic about non-living things and living things? Great, good job. Now this time, it's time for our activity. Now for our activity, can you please get a piece of paper or notebook and write your name on the top and number 
1 until number 5. I have here an example on how you do it. Now, this is now our activity. Write living things or non-living things. An example here, I have a picture here. Number 1, it's a dog. So the dog is what? Living things or non-living things? Okay, very good. It's living things. So write the word living things. Now here, number one is a bird. A bird is living thing or non-living thing? Can you please write? Next, a girl. A girl is living thing or non-living thing? Great. Next, number three, a chair. A chair is living thing or non-living thing? Number four is lion. Lion is a non-living thing or living thing? Okay. And the last one is a car. Car is living thing or non-living things? Very good. After you... Write your activity, finish, kindly send it to the line group and I will check it one by one and have a good day to everyone. Stay home and stay safe.